another one. They already have two so far today. Good things happening in the Mitten State. So First two Michigan champs from Dundee High School, Manny Rojas from Detroit Catholic Central. And we're underway already at 170 snap down. Rojas trying to get big. He's been wrestling up at 182 where he was ranked, but doesn't seem to have any issue getting down to 170. Yeah, and actually because of the Michigan weight class, he's competing up at 189 where he was a state champion. That's right, they, they had the uh, the old ones, the old weights that the old timers remember in other states. The throwbacks from our era. Appreciate that Michigan's keeping that alive. I did too, and Rojas. Although as a ranker, I'm sure you absolutely hate having a whole. Yeah, it's confusing. You put them at 82 or 95, but that's all right. Yeah. Back to the raised stage in the spotlight. We got the pummeling position, chest to chest. Back out into space. Two minutes remaining in the first period. Rojas reaching in, goes to the left, now to the right. Switches off to a double. Thompson, good job getting his feet back, but. One offered and one confirmed. One on the board for Rojas. He strikes first. Both Braden Thompson and Manny Rojas, super tough. Thompson has been doing a lot of winning lately. He was undefeated at junior duels, undefeated at NHSCA duels. Was fourth at 79 kilos at the junior trials. Only lost to NCAA athletes there. So Rojas takes another shot. Nothing from Thompson, he's got a tight headlock. Got the height advantage. Thompson shoots. Rojas though battles out of it. Back in the center. Both wrestlers still feeling each other out. Absolutely. No, um, no passivity warnings. I think that one step out kind of got rid of the need for one. I think they butted heads there. Speaking of passivity, there it is for Thompson. And now they're signaling. That's the first warning, the verbal warning for him. Some team race implications. Illinois has it locked up. Michigan still with some guys to go, and Manny Rokas could potentially help move Michigan into second place with the win here. Yeah, it's not over until the final bout. Michigan and Iowa both have a wrestler to go. Ben Keeter for Iowa, Michigan, you're looking at him right now. Uh, Pennsylvania, again, no finals, but two more in the constellations. They can still pick up some points. They got 111 right now. That may put it out of reach for either Michigan or Iowa at three and four. Wisconsin could still win heavyweight. I think Chase Horn would be a, a very heavy favorite as the number one seed going against an unranked guy. Yeah, he would. And we're back to action. Trainer getting another look at a bloody ear and short time left in the period. Just one point on the board for Rojas as we head into the break on that attack that ended up in a step out. So we go to the break. Nick Simmons again, saw Wrestling Academy, or Simmons Academy of Wrestling. Kind of that backwards, you gotta get the acronym to fit. Yes. SAW is a cool acronym. It's better than SWA, dude. <laughs> yeah, that was an easy decision when they were, you know, batting around names of their institution. Second period has begun. Just the one-point lead. Uh, Thompson does have a passivity warning. Could go on the clock. Hard Rojas certainly being more active. Definitely is. Rojas has been 
really dominant throughout this entire tournament. Technical superiority wins or falls all the way through Braden Thompson. Putting him in a different kind of match than he's had this tournament. Wow, nice throw oh. by. Could have been a pancake, was just a throw by. No points yet, they're kicking out the elbows from the supporting positions. And that's two points, three to zero, two minutes, 12 seconds to go in the match. And we need the trainer again, is it blood? It's on his back, so it's probably from somewhere else. You don't often see someone's back start bleeding. No, that doesn't happen quite as often. <laughs> no. You gotta get some serious damage. Maybe somebody forgot to clip their fingernails. So Manny Rojas, throughout this tournament, he won in the semis 15 to five by Tech, 11 to zero in the quarters, 10 0, 10 0, 11 0, and then a 13 second fall in the first round. So 13 seconds. Giving up just five points. That's not even a warm up. No. For these guys, for me, I'd be winded. But you would, yeah, you might be. I think you'd be pretty, pretty winded. Um, I probably would too. Braden Thompson has only given up four points, although his semifinal match against Luke Gogg was only a, a 4 2 victory, so he hasn't been quite as dominant. But neither of these guys giving up a lot of points. Rojas trying to win title number 34 all time. Michigan, not for himself, just to clarify. <laughs> Two minutes left <laughs> in the match. Yeah. He's immortal. He's been 17 forever. Uh, another tidbit from Mr. Fargo, Jason Bryant. How many of those Fargo titles for Michigan came for Mr. Brent Metcalf? Has to be That's another question for, for the Fargo Almanacman. All right, 90 seconds remaining. Thompson certainly not out of it, but running out of time. Yeah, hasn't found a lot of openings yet. Yeah, and Rojas has been, you know, using his offense to be the best defense, keeping Thompson at bay. Really has been controlling center. A little duck attempt. Rojas not coming forward, not pushing enough. Wow, and these guys going back and forth. Now Thompson with... His best opportunity yet, down on a single leg, switches over, and he'll get two. Switch into a lace. He was in decent position on that gut wrench, maybe not super comfortable there. Now switching to a lace. Rojas fighting hands. The lace is locked up. Rojas slips it out. Rojas going to try to get on top for a point of his own. And that's some power. He kicked out of that with some, uh, you know, Malicious intent, perhaps. Not actual malicious intent, but you know, he was getting mean about it, is what I'm trying to say. The official tying his shoes. He may have to tape his laces. I think that's the rule. That's a penalty. Ro Rojas here blew up. Ro I, the way they were banging heads in there, back and forth, you know, no, uh, no hesitation, just forward pressure. Not surprised. Uh, in fact, I'm kind of surprised there isn't more uh, wounds opening up on either guy's head. Jason Bryant comes through with the stat we asked for. Brent Metcalf had three junior men's freestyle titles, so not quite 10% of Michigan's 34. It's like having a third member of the booth. I love it. It's, yeah, it's really amazing. And also, we're not in a booth. We're just at a table. We're at a table as evidenced by the fact that when Jordan Williams <laughs> won his title, you could hear his fan Wait, section you could just who had invaded our table. Not encouraging it. Would not recommend anyone else come uh, join us at the table here. But... Yeah, it is pretty wide open here. Any uh, point wins it for Thompson. Yes, 30 seconds. Button heads again. Thompson trying to get it going. Rojas trying to square up. Checks him down. Thompson not stopping. Forward pressure, 15 seconds to go. Thompson gaining ground. Rojas trying to maintain the center. Snap down. Thompson falling into a shot. Throw by attempt by Rojas. Five seconds to go. Limping arm out. That'll ice it. Man, will Rojas, Rojas comes up clutch. Number 34 for the state of Michigan. That underhook was Manny Rojas' best friend at the end of that match. He really used that to fend Braden Thompson off and then was able to finish the takedown at the end. Really number four at 182 and now down to 170. 
We believe he's going to be there all season long. We're going to find out. I don't know what he's going to do all season long. We've got to figure that out. That's true. I mean, we'll have to ask Mr. Rojas himself. Now the owner of a nice octagonal.